Once ridiculed and buried under waves of skepticism and delays, the Tesla Semi was thought to be doomed in the so-called production hell. But now, Tesla Semi is entering a golden era, with plans to produce 50,000 electric trucks at its new Giga factory. Not only has Tesla broken through every barrier, but it has also unveiled the most unique truck production line on the planet, where a single Semi can be completed in just 10 minutes an unprecedented feat in the industry. With a price tag of $250,000, the Tesla Semi may seem like a hefty investment, but the savings in fuel and maintenance costs are expected to quickly pay for themselves, making it an irresistible option for logistics companies. Following a series of successful test runs, Tesla announced that the new Semi factory will be running at full capacity by the end of this year. Elon Musk confirmed that anyone can now purchase a semi-truck with customizable configurations, allowing customers to tailor their trucks to their individual transport needs without breaking the bank. This is how we believe Tesla Semi will redefine freight transport across the U.S., both for large fleets and small businesses alike. So, what makes Tesla's mass production plan for the Semi so special? And when will Tesla officially open orders for external customers? We're about to reveal that now. In the world of heavy-duty transportation, where 18-wheelers dominate long-haul routes, the idea of a fully electric truck was once considered impossible. Even billionaire Bill Gates once claimed that electric batteries were too bulky and heavy to meet the demands of giant machines like the Tesla Semi. But Elon Musk fired back, saying Gates didn't know what he was talking about when it came to electric trucks. Musk boldly asserted that Tesla, could build a Class 8 electric truck capable of disrupting diesel entirely, with performance specs that would shake up the entire industry. Elon Musk has repeatedly pointed out that diesel trucks account for only 1.1% of vehicles on the road, yet they produce a staggering 16.4% of all transportation emissions in the U.S. That's a truly alarming figure. As the world's leading electric vehicle company, it would make no sense for Tesla to rely on diesel trucks to transport parts, machinery, and powertrains between its factories to build electric vehicles. It would be even more ironic to use diesel trucks to deliver electric cars to customers. That's exactly why the Tesla Semi was created. When Tesla first unveiled the Semi in 2017, the trucking industry laughed it off. A fully electric truck that could haul 80,000 pounds, accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 20 seconds, and travel 500 miles on a single charge? Even the most optimistic observers thought it was a pipe dream. The project faced constant delays, missing the original target of mass production in 2019, and only trickling out a few test units in 2022. Battery supply chain issues, a complex design, and the immense challenge of scaling up manufacturing all contributed to what Tesla called production hell. As of the end of 2024, only about 300 Tesla semis had been built. Over half of those were delivered to major clients like PepsiCo, Costco, and Walmart, while the rest were being used internally by Tesla. 2025 marks a major turning point for the Tesla Semi. With a $3.6 billion investment, Tesla's expanded Giga Nevada factory is now ready to take the Semi into full-scale mass production. According to Elon Musk, the new facility, featuring an additional 4 million square feet, won't just build the Semi, it will also integrate an on-site battery production line, eliminating the delays caused by transporting batteries from other factories. This vertical integration allows Tesla to achieve unprecedented manufacturing efficiency, a fully assembled Tesla Semi every 10 minutes, which equates to over 135 trucks per day, pushing toward the goal of 50,000 units annually, starting by the end of this year. Building a heavy-duty electric truck like the Tesla Semi in just 10 minutes sounds like science fiction, and we were skeptical too, but it seems Elon Musk has once again made the impossible really. The new Giga Semi production line features mind-blowing automation, especially in the frame stamping process, which is handled by some of the most advanced machinery in the world. Even though the Semi is Tesla's most complex vehicle to date, due to its massive size and high customization requirements, the factory leverages cutting-edge technologies like high-speed robotic assembly and a just-in-time conveyor system, which Musk once called a factory of the future. What makes the semi-production line unique is its integration. Giga Nevada not only builds the vehicles but also builds the batteries on site, 
using a new type of high-voltage battery that is cheaper and more efficient, despite its smaller capacity. According to Dan Priestley, semi-program manager, the batteries improve energy efficiency by more than 7%, allowing the semi to maintain a range of 500 miles without adding weight. Producing the batteries on site reduces reliance on outside suppliers and shortens assembly times. The result? A Tesla Semi can roll off the line in just 10 minutes, paving the way for a target of 50,000 vehicles per year. Compared to competitors like Kenworth and Peterbilt, which will sell a combined 190,000 Class 8 trucks in the U.S. and Canada in 2023, Tesla's 50,000 target is a strong start. But Musk isn't stopping there. Believing that with continued optimization, the Semi factory could eventually produce one car every five minutes a rate that would surprise even industry giants. At $250,000 for the 500-mile version, the Tesla Semi isn't cheap. PepsiCo, one of its first customers, used $4.5 million in subsidies to buy 18 Semis, suggesting that the initial cost is a major hurdle. But Musk didn't call the Semi a money machine for nothing. The Semi's low operating and maintenance costs make it a superior long-term investment. Take a look at these numbers. The Tesla Semi consumes 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile, which translates to about $0.30 per mile in California. In comparison, a diesel truck burns through about $3.51 every 6.5 miles with one gallon of diesel. With an average of 100,000 miles driven per year, a Tesla Semi saves tens of thousands of dollars in fuel compared to a diesel truck. As of September 20th to 24, the Semi fleet in North America has already saved over 1 million gallons of diesel, roughly $3.5 million, despite having only around 300 units on the road. Scaling this to millions of trucks would result in massive savings. Maintenance is another major advantage. With costs around 10 cents per mile, the Tesla Semi cuts maintenance expenses in half compared to diesel trucks, which average 20 cents per mile. Over five years, a driver logging 100,000 miles annually would spend just $50,000 on maintenance for a semi, compared to $100,000 for a diesel truck. Regenerative braking that never overheats, along with a minimalist design that eliminates internal combustion engines and complex transmissions, reduces downtime and maximizes transport efficiency. The Tesla Semi isn't just cost-effective, it's a beast on the road. With three independent motors delivering instant torque, the Semi accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 20 seconds, even when hauling 80,000 pounds, and it can reach up to 800 miles when running empty. The regenerative braking system in the Tesla Semi recovers nearly all the energy during downhill driving, extending the vehicle's range and reducing the number of charging sessions needed. In a real-world test during the 2024 Run on Less event, the Semi set a record by covering 1,076 miles in a single day with just three fast charges using the Mega Charger network. This demonstrates that the Semi can truly replace diesel Class 8 trucks on a one-to-one -one basis, shattering long-held assumptions about electric trucks. Major customers like PepsiCo, DHL, and Saya have confirmed this performance. Saya, a logistics company with over 100 years of history, tested the Semi and recorded energy consumption of just 1.73 kilowatt hours per mile. Drivers reported a smooth, comfortable ride and praised the truck's ability to maintain speed on inclines. PepsiCo drivers went even further, saying they only want to drive the Semi now thanks to its quiet, low-stress driving experience. The Tesla Semi is about more than performance and savings. Elon Musk has confirmed that full self-driving capability will soon be integrated into the truck, with deployment expected by the end of 2025, aligning with the start of mass production. Full self-driving isn't just a tech feature, it's a solution to the ongoing truck driver shortage in the U.S., where harsh working conditions have made the profession less appealing. With FSD, the Semi will be able to handle highway driving autonomously, reducing stress and fatigue-related accidents, while also optimizing delivery schedules. The environmental impact of the Semi is just as important. Although heavy-duty trucks make up only 1% of vehicles in the U.S., they account for 18% of greenhouse gas emissions. 
Saving 1 million gallons of diesel equates to cutting 22,400 tons of CO2, a significant contribution to the fight against climate change. The SEMI's drag coefficient of 0.4, much lower than the typical 0.8 of traditional trucks, reduces charging needs and boosts energy efficiency. While the Tesla SEMI holds enormous potential, several challenges still need to be addressed. The current megacharger infrastructure is limited to a few select locations, such as Tesla's factory and Frito-Lay's facility in Modesto. For the SEMI to truly become a mainstream option for long-haul trucking, expanding the charging network is critical. However, the Biden administration's repeated refusal to fund the Charging Corridor project combined with the strained relationship between Elon Musk and Donald Trump raises questions about the future rollout pace of megacharger stations. In addition, although Tesla's new production line is optimized with automation and on-site battery manufacturing, it will still take time to refine and reach peak efficiency. The Tesla Semi clearly outperforms competitors like Volvo, Mercedes-Benz, Pacar, Daimler, and BYD. No other electric truck matches its 500-mile range and impressive acceleration. Still, to dominate the market, Tesla will need to double its production capacity, aiming for 100,000 units per year, in order to compete with well-established names like Kenworth and Peterbilt. As Europe ramps up its transition to green energy, Elon Musk has confirmed plans to bring the Tesla Semi to the European market, with production to be launched at Giga Berlin. However, this won't happen in the short term, as Tesla still needs to fulfill orders from North American companies that have been waiting years to receive their semis. Expanding into Europe could be a major opportunity, as the Class 8 electric truck segment there is becoming increasingly competitive. With its superior technical specs, the Tesla Semi has the potential to become the new king of the electric truck market not just in North America, but also across Europe. However, the road to bringing the semi to Europe won't be easy, with several hurdles and regulatory challenges ahead. At the IAA Transportation 2024 Expo in Hanover, Tesla brought two semis from the U.S., one for display and one for test drives, attracting significant attention from fleet operators. Dan Priestley emphasized that the semi was designed from the ground up with multiple markets in mind, including Europe, with minor adjustments like wheel covers and signal lights to comply with local regulations. Still, the semi's expected launch in Europe, likely no earlier than 2026, faces some major obstacles. Strict regulations around truck dimensions and weight in the EU are a key challenge. Currently, the Tesla semi appears to exceed the maximum legal width. Measuring 8.5 feet versus the 8.37 feet allowed in most European countries. Additionally, the European market tends to favor cab over designs that maximize cargo space, while the Semi uses a traditional long nose conventional design common in American trucks. This could require Tesla to make some design tweaks to better align with both regulatory standards and the practical needs of European freight operators. Beyond regulatory hurdles, the semi's center driving position also represents a significant departure from European norms, where truck cabins typically place the driver on one side. This offset layout optimizes cabin space, forward visibility, and maneuverability when reversing or parking near the curb. To better suit the European market, the center seat design may need to be shifted to the left side, and a sleeper cabin would likely be required, as that's a standard feature for long-haul trucks in Europe. While Tesla has deployed megachargers at its Nevada factory and Frito-Lay's Modesto facility, the charging infrastructure in Europe remains in its early stages. Back in 2021, Tesla announced plans to build a dedicated megacharger network for the semi in Europe, but so far those plans don't appear to have materialized. And as we all know, Tesla's service footprint in Europe is still relatively limited especially when compared to the well-established service networks of major European commercial vehicle manufacturers, which can offer immediate support to fleet customers. Meanwhile, the electric truck market in Europe is growing rapidly and becoming increasingly competitive, with strong entries from major players like Volvo's FH Electric, Mercedes-Benz's Eactros 600, and several others. Volvo has emerged as a leader in this space, with an estimated 3,000 electric trucks currently operating in Europe. 
This puts Tesla in a position where it must not only face a limited service network, but also directly compete with established players who have already built a strong presence in the market. Many also point out that Tesla has no competitive advantage in this market, given the particularly poor image Tesla has there, as evidenced by the constant disruptions at Giga Berlin. Therefore, in our view, bringing semi-trucks to Europe is a strategy that Tesla needs to consider very carefully. It holds significant potential, but also presents numerous challenges. On one hand, the Tesla Semi still holds a clear advantage, as no electric truck in Europe currently offers a range of 500 miles or an energy efficiency of 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile like the Semi. The Volvo FH Electric only achieves 373 miles, while the Mercedes E-Actro 600 reaches 311 miles. Moreover, the full self-driving feature will take the Semi to a whole new level, reducing stress for drivers and addressing the labor shortage issue in the European transportation sector. However, before it can make an impact outside North America, Tesla will need to overcome not only design and regulatory barriers, but also build a strong service network and supporting infrastructure. The Tesla Semi is not just an ordinary electric truck. It represents a significant leap forward in the heavy-duty transportation industry. With production ramping up rapidly, Tesla is demonstrating a strong commitment to the success of the Semi with aerial images showing bustling manufacturing activity, signaling that this revolutionary truck is soon to become a key player in the industry. As Tesla continues with mass production, the question is no longer whether the Tesla Semi can compete with diesel trucks, but when it will fully surpass them. The Tesla Semi is ready to change the landscape of the transportation sector. While some still mistakenly believe that the Tesla Semi is just another ordinary electric truck that can't compete with diesel trucks, the production delays are not a sign of failure, but rather a calculated strategy. The company needed time to gather real-world data from drivers to ensure that when the Semi enters mass production, it will not only be an ordinary electric truck, but a true revolution in the transportation industry. Those who think the Tesla Semi has no advantage over diesel trucks or other electric models have overlooked the clear benefits it offers. The numbers speak for themselves, lower operating costs, reduced maintenance, and superior economic benefits. The Tesla Semi is not just the future of transportation, it's also a smart investment for any business. While the initial purchase price may be higher than that of diesel trucks, the significantly lower operating costs save businesses hundreds of thousands of dollars each year thanks to its superior energy efficiency and minimal maintenance costs. Cost savings are the most crucial factor making the Tesla Semi a worthwhile investment. With operating costs significantly lower than diesel trucks, businesses can save hundreds of thousands of dollars annually, which is incredibly important in the transportation industry, where every mile driven directly impacts profits. What do you think about Tesla Semi? Drop your views below. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.